I have the privilege to, to be here with Ted Fletcher, who is founder and inventor, in fact, of AirSound, uh, sort of the guru behind, behind the technology. Ted, this is a real pleasure. You're going you're gonna to explain to our, our viewers about what AirSound technology is, is all about. Uh, I shall try. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'll try. Yeah, AirSound uh, is a new way of listening to stereo sound. Um, it's... It produces sound from a single point, uh, and the listener can hear the the complete sound field or sound stage uh, that, the, that whoever did the original recording intends. And uh, it's an improvement, and we like to show that it's an improvement over trying to listen to stereo using two loudspeakers. Okay, but you've got a number of patents behind this technology? Is oh, that yes. what you're saying? Oh, yes, yes, we have. Um, the original... The original idea is not new. In fact, it was um, it was invented by um, uh, a British inventor called Alan Blumline, uh, who wrote up a patent application in 1931, uh, and he um, described uh, his idea because I mean this really was the invention of stereo sound. This was uh, prior to that, uh, no one had any idea of listening to positional sound in any way at all. Um, Alan Blumline really was the inventor of stereo. Uh, and in his 1931 patent, he, uh, he explained how he thought the future was going to be, his future, bearing in mind that this was 1931. Mm -hmm. uh, he um, wrote up in this patent how he thought stereo sound should be reproduced, and it wasn't with two loudspeakers. Uh, however... Um, the idea of two loudspeakers was developed over the, over the years, and in fact, by the late 1950s, of course, it was everywhere. And now it's, um, we all think of stereo as, as two loudspeakers, the two being synonymous. However, that really isn't the case. Um, stereo, stereo sound really is listening to a, a sound field and making you exactly. feel as though you're in in that sound field. Well, like you would be at the concert or... Yeah, or that's right, exactly. And, uh, and of course, with two speakers, you can only achieve that by being exactly in what we now call the sweet spot. Exactly. Exactly between the two loudspeakers. And if you move, if your head is nailed in exactly <laughs> that right place, then it's going to be great, of course. But um, if you move just a fraction, of course, the image is gone. You've lost it. However, with air sound, you've got that image wherever you are. That's this, cool. this is the trick. <laughs> okay. So, okay, 19, 1931, yeah. 2007, yeah. where are we going from here? What's air sound going to bring to the home theater industry? Oh, home theater. Well, first of all, uh, I mean, what, what we're aiming to achieve is that everyone who listens to sound, I mean, everyone who listens to sound, should um, have an understanding of single-point stereo uh, and eventually get out of this habit, or we'll call it a habit, of listening to two loudspeakers mm -hmm. instead of one. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great mm -hmm. if that happened. In home theatre, you've got an even worse situation where um, uh, the, the biggest single factor in home theatre, as we both know, is wife acceptance factor. That's clear. <laughs> and, clear. Um, We've been talking uh, about that for a uh, long uh, while. Oh, yeah, oh. absolutely, absolutely. Um, well, using air sound uh, as a technique in home theatre, uh, you can eliminate these dreadful loudspeakers on the corners. Uh, for a, example, in a 5.1 uh, setup, where you have a, a flat screen television and uh, um, manufacturers come out with, well, what 5.1 is, five loudspeakers and, and a sub. Um, what we're suggesting and what we're proposing and what we've developed is a system with a single loudspeaker at the front, a single loudspeaker at the rear, uh, and maybe a sub somewhere. But that's not, that's not too difficult because you can hide a sub. Uh, this gives us full 5.1 in inverted commas effect without the speakers on the corner and you can be anywhere in the room and still get the true spatial sound without these annoying um, individuals, speakers. individual <laughs> uh, speakers and individual noises jumping out of loudspeakers and making you jump. 
Okay, that's a revolution. <laughs> yes. We've seen a lot of the, the 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 bars that put under your screens and stuff. That seems to be the rage here at the show. But this this is this is going to be even a bigger rage. Well, really. I I do hope you're so. Not only you're going to get it in front, yeah. you're going to get it in yeah. the back, and you're going to get it all oh, yeah. around. You get it all around. Yes, yes. And wherever you sit, if there's a sofa in front of the television, you can sit at either end of the sofa, and you've still got the perfect. And you get the same sound on both yes. sides. Yes. Yes. Yeah. This is the point. You don't. Uh, there isn't a sweet spot. We're back to that, that phrase again, the sweet spot. You, when you move your head, you don't lose the image. Okay. It's still all there, and it gives you a tremendous sense of space. And uh, you have to appreciate it, really, to, to, to see it. But uh, it has Hard to listen to it. it, it, <laughs> it but it drags you into the material, okay. which is what we all, what we all want. Okay. Next time we'll meet at the the, the CES this year, yeah. we're going to do a diagram and show people in a diagram how that actually works with you, with, the, with your test and your bandwidth. Yeah. I'm, we'll yeah. prove it to them. We'll look forward to that. Thank you yeah, very much. Great. This has really yeah. been a pleasure. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Bob.